Well, hello again, everybody. I am Lou from 95 KGGO. Welcome to another segment of Lou at the Zoo. Today, we're going to head down the Australian Trail and visit with the redneck wallaby here at the Blank Park Zoo. The redneck wallaby originates from southeast Australia and Tasmania. They can be found in scrubbing grassy clearings in woodland. Their diet consists of grass, leaves, roots, and saplings. Here at the zoos, the wallabies are fed pellets, grass, and hay. The redneck wallaby is a medium-sized wallaby, and its name comes from the reddish fur that covers its neck and shoulders. They measure up to 3 feet in height and weigh up to 25 pounds. Like all marsupials, the female redneck wallaby has a pouch on its belly. The pouch is where the young develop and find protection, much like the kangaroo. Redneck wallabies are wary and elusive, and their mobile and sensitive ears are its first line of defense. At the first rustle of an approaching predator, the wallaby will bound away into cover with aid of its specially adapted hind limbs and its long tail. Each hind limb has an elastic tendon that acts like a spring catapulting the wallaby into the air, and then again as soon as it lands. The tail acts like a rudder that enables the wallaby to change direction quickly while escaping from predators. Now, redneck wallabies live in groups that are called mobs. Now, the males are called boomers, and the females are called flyers. These are redneck wallabies, right? Hang on just a second. Hey, you guys know Jeff Foxworthy? No, I'm not him. What about Skip Jackson, the sprint car driver? Do you know him? All right, never mind. Redneck wallabies, head ask. Redneck wallabies will mate year-round. When the young is born, it's smaller than an inch and travels from the birth canal to the pouch. The baby wallaby, which is called a joey, develops in the pouch for the first six months and is independent after nine months. The mother can support three young at a time, one of the young in the female's abdomen, the second in the pouch, and the third active young who has left the pouch but returns occasionally. Overall, a wallaby can live up to 15 years. The redneck wallaby has a population that is stable and one of the few wallabies that is still widespread. Even though they don't look like a nuisance, they're considered a crop pest in some places as they eat newly planted saplings. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about the redneck wallaby. Remember, if you're a wallaby and you have a redneck, you just might be a redneck wallaby. Now, to learn more about these or anything about the Blank Park Zoo, simply go to blankparkzoo.com. For 95KGGO, this is Lou at the Zoo. We'll see you at the Blank Park Zoo.